Hey there, it's Jason here from Forex Pipsnagger, and today is September the 11th. 9-11 uh, uh, was that sad day that we had about 11 years ago, I believe it was, or 10 years ago. I, I can't remember which year it was. It was either, two, no, it was 2001, that's right. Um, anyway, I, I feel for those who have lost uh, some of your loved ones on that day. Um, anyway, to move along uh, now with the setups, um, but first I have one more thing to say. Um, as you know, uh, for a while now, um, Mondays just suck. Like, they blow chunks, man. Okay? Uh, there's no news on Mondays anymore. So they must have voted it out. Three years ago or so, there used to be some news on Mondays, but there's no longer any news on Mondays that moves the market. So nobody's here trading. There's no volume. There's nobody moving it. You see the big difference from today as opposed to yesterday. Well, there's a big difference because the big boys are here. We're trading it, okay? So anyway, um, I'm glad to see that the market's starting to pick up again. It's September. All the traders are coming back. This is actually the best time of the year to trade. Um, but I also want to tell you that because there's no news on Mondays to move the market and nobody's here, okay, I am no longer going to do videos on Mondays, okay? And not only that, okay, the best professional traders trade three day traders, that is, trade three days a week, okay? They trade Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. So I just want to make a quick note here now that um, I will no longer be shooting and sending videos for the trade setups on Mondays and Fridays. It's just going to be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday now when the market moves. So if you're a smart trader, if you're a professional trader, if you look at this as a profession, you really should consider trading only three days a week. And think of the benefit, okay? The benefit is, is that you're not going to be as stressed out because you're not going to put yourself through, you know, all this stress for five days. Instead, you're going to do it for three. And you're going to have extra long weekends every weekend. You're going to have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday off to, to live life and enjoy life and, you know, get ready to trade the market again on Tuesday. And that's it. So anyway, well, I'm going to get along with the get on, get along, <laughs> get on with the setups now. Um, so here's our 10 o'clock GMT, which is 2 o'clock in the morning, as you can see. Shot up real quick. They had no retrace into the trigger line. There was no selling here. The filter did not agree. Um, and then again, here in the U.S. session, shot up real quick. Didn't give us any nice retracement to get in other than this little bit here. And if you did get in here, it's about 28.05. Well, she shot up 30 to 60 pips up to the top with your stop about 40 pips. And if you missed that entry, uh, well, basically, you would have looked to get in on one of these entries here. And it gave you three times, three opportunities to buy it right there. And all three of those opportunities, including this one, the fourth opportunity, the first opportunity, was all nice winning trades. Okay, so let's take a look at the one minute now. Okay. Oh, the one minute, basically, way over here told you to buy it, but really you wanted to buy it over here. Okay, once you've seen that perfect gap formation. Gap formation right here, but the filter was not agreeing at that time. So if you were brave and you bought a dip there, which I wouldn't have because I'm looking to get in right here, Okay, and it didn't give me that. It went up about 36 pips, okay. Um, There's no selling here. It was blue. But right here, okay, uh, it would have got you to look to buy it. And you had 6 pips to there, 10 to there. Okay, well, you could have got maybe 6, 7 pips out of that one. Um, but no, you couldn't have because that was past our time to trade. I'm sorry. Yeah, that was past our 2-hour window. Sorry about that. It was just went by me a little bit quick here. So anyway, that's it for the one minute setup. There was really no setup. Okay, let's take a look at the Swissy now, opposite of the Euro. Okay, uh, you're looking to sell right in here. 
you know, a, a, a retracement back up. We took some pips. You know, did not agree to do any buying up here. Then it came right down. And you'd have looked to, you know, sell it in these places, just like the euro. Euro is the opposite, as you can see. Same deal. Okay, let's take a look at the pound. Okay, and the pound, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, right here was our time to look to trade. You'd have looked to buy there. If you bought there, it didn't really go anywhere, but you had to stop here. If you held on, okay, it did eventually rock and roll right up. And for those of you who missed an entry um, over here, okay, you would have bought dips right into here. This is our advanced way to trade snagger. Okay, so anyway, um, like I said earlier that there will be no more no more trade videos now on Mondays and Fridays, okay? Only on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays. Um, I also, also lastly want to say that um, my new uh, trading system will be coming out soon. Um, you're going to be getting uh, the first email about it on Thursday. Uh, so be ready for that. It's going to... Uh, I assure you that if you decide to join me, okay, you're going to learn the best of the best and forget the rest. Um, in, in all honesty, it's going to make Snagger uh, and One Hour Forex kind of look like it was standing still. Um, not that both of those systems don't work. They do work. Um, I've come a long way since I've created those systems. And... I want to share it with you guys. I want you guys to be successful traders. So if you're looking for something top notch, you're not going to find it anywhere else. I assure you, you are going to be so, so beyond happy with my course. Okay, thank you for listening. You have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.